Okay, so this vlog is going to go a little bit different. Um, we have been planting garlic today, making salsa, making apple butter, all that kind of stuff. So my kitchen is a mess. This is the basil that we brought in before the frost the other day. Um, but a working kitchen is a messy kitchen, right? That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> um, but Kenneth just called on his way home from work. The kids were helping make... Ugh! The kids were helping me make some salsa, and I guess he decided to pick up some fencing on the way home, some that we've been talking about getting at some point, but he decided to get it on the way home and said, do the kids want to come help me or do they want to keep helping you? Needless to say, they all abandoned me. So, I'm going to finish dinner, and then I'm going to head outside and show you what we're working on out there. Okay, so I'm coming out here to see what damage has been done already. I told them you're changing up my vlog for today. Oh. This wasn't exactly in the plan. <laughs> well, neither is half the yeah, stuff okay. we do. So. <laughs> Sometimes if we don't just jump and do stuff, we won't do it at all. So normally we want to feed. But, I mean, it's a few inches. There's and this one's not going to be supporting the bats. <laughs> okay, so... Here's um, what we've kind of been thinking. Let me give you a layout of our backyard. This is in the back left corner. So we have a backyard that's fenced in, and then we have over there, which we call our field. Um, so this, we're gonna start to, we've never had an area that we can let our chickens actually out. They stay in this. We've talked before several times about how we built this. Thinking it would be mobile, it is very not mobile. Um, so we are fencing in this back corner. So starting from where he's at, squaring it off with that fence and then squaring this off over here and that will be their section that they can run around um so we have bought some just did you get five foot uh six foot six foot of the um t huh t posts and the wood posts well i'm talking about the fencing oh it's four foot the fencing is four foot Okay, for, so it's just chickens. Okay, so just for the chickens, we're doing the four foot, um, what do I want to call it? Like horse. Um, That's the no climb. Yeah, the no climb fencing. Um, no and so we're gonna. Back up, back up. Right, there won't be goats or anything in that one. And then, hopefully in the near future, the what we're gonna be doing <laughs> is, so this fence will be here, and then this part of the backyard would be really good that we're gonna fence in for something else. So. This will be the chicken area, and then we're gonna have just enough room to walk in between and for a gate to swing open. And then we'll have this part fenced in, um, is what we're thinking for the next. And we're trying to maximize the space of what we have. Um, it doesn't seem to be working out for us to buy property right now. So we're gonna work with what we have. Um, we have an acre and a half is what we have. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have a few like different paddocks in our backyard and then over there in the more field portion um, that would be like a really big pack okay sorry my battery died um, so we'll use that portion back there as like a really big paddock um, but we're talking about starting with some things like pigs um, a donkey and some goats so what order we will do that all in I'm not sure yet but this is just kind of the beginning stages. Um, we were kind of waiting it out, thinking that we might were finding some property options, but um, it just doesn't seem that that's what the Lord has for us right now. So, in the meantime of us waiting for a bigger piece of property and a bigger house, um, we've got some other plans, and this is just the beginning of them. Um, so, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is all going to pan out as we get each fencing panel up. In other news, I know we had mentioned, <laughs> they threw in some branches to him. I knew we had mentioned in a last vlog about, this is the guy that we kept from the meat bird batch, um, which it appears it's a rooster. We've been hearing some crowing going on. Um, but every time, we've been keeping him in this tractor right here in close proximity to the hens. Every time they're together, they try to kill him. Um, so we're hoping this will help having a larger area that may be for them to roam around, but otherwise they just literally go after him. Um, so if you have any advice for introducing 
um, him to them in a better method than them killing him, then uh, leave it in the comments below. Yeah. I think that's about 24 inches. Oh my god! It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> one no. down. One down. How many to go? Oh, you said you're not doing these on the whole thing, though, right? Right. No, I'm doing T posts in between. Okay. The only reason I'm using this one is because it's going to. Uh, I need to flip it around though. It's gonna support the gate that I'm making out of two by six because apparently I like to go overkill and everything. So it's gonna support the fence plus a gate. So this is second day progress. This is the back um, fence line of our yard and it, it grows up really bad. We actually had people clean it up. Um, I believe that was last summer and it already is just it's it's crazy and it's terrible fencing anyway i mean it's just old chain link and there's some mixed in barbed wire and um the neighbors have horses on this property they literally just re lean right over to eat our grass so it's been needed replaced for a long time um but now it's just the perfect opportunity so we have all of that ripped up and now we're putting up the fencing because we finally have all the posts up So we were looking into fencing stretchers um, and they can get pretty pricey. Oh, oh. <laughs> pretty pricey. So Kenneth found this one at, where were you at? Tractor Supply or Atwoods or? Uh, Atwoods. Atwoods. Um, and we're so, we are hoping it's going to help solve the problem to get all this nice and taut. Um, and you can buy the, what are they called? The metal, what you're using the ratchet strap instead of? You mean the come alongs? Yeah, the come alongs. That I don't have, so. I'm but we don't have, so, and we're, we are uh, all in favor of using what we have. So we're going to try a ratchet strap because we really don't see why it won't work. So we will. Yeah, well, and we're not, we're not, it's not, we're not, it's not for horses or cows or anything. Right, this is just the area for the chickens. And then if we want to, if we find out it works great for the other animals, then great. If not, then we'll change our game plan for other paddocks but for now we're going to give this a shot and see what happens you'll see
There you go. Look at that. Okay. Not that. Okay, and I will say, this is the actual corner post. Um, this is just a temporary bracing that Kenneth built to pull this along. It will come down here in a minute. Yeah, the right way to do this is technically you'd have another post in between the two. They'd be kind of bolted and screwed in, but <laughs> random two by six will, will work. I mean, you're not putting 1,500 pounds of pressure on this, so. All right, let's get the C clips, in, or the C clips, the fence clips in. Are you going to help daddy? So I just made this hole with those and it's like nice and solid but it's not way down in the chili over the campfire. Hi! <laughs>